Winter blackouts aren't just a mild inconvenience. They're a test of your survival skills. And trust me, you don't want to fail this one. You've already got your flashlights, emergency radios, and heat sources ready, right? After being stuck in my house for 13 days straight last year with no electricity, I learned the hard way that there's a lot more you'll need to stay prepared. Well, let me hit you with a couple more preps you absolutely need, but probably haven't even thought about. And no, we're not talking about grabbing some snacks and calling it a day. We're talking full-on survival, no room for mistakes. These are the preps that will save your sanity, your health, and maybe even your life during those long, cold, dark days ahead. Let's dive right in. 1. Personal hygiene items. Don't become a walking biohazard. Think hygiene is a luxury during a blackout? Wrong. When the power's out for days or even weeks, your plumbing might go with it. No showers, no flushing toilets, no clean water running from the taps. The last thing you need is to be holed up in your home, smelling like a dumpster fire, because let me tell you, neglecting hygiene can lead to infections, illnesses, and a level of misery you don't want to experience. Stockpile baby wipes or adult body wipes. I'm talking about the big, industrial-sized packs like Dude Wipes or Good Wipes. These are lifesavers for staying clean when you can't hop in the shower. You'll feel like a new person after just one wipe down, and trust me, your family will thank you. And don't even get me started on toilet paper. During an extended blackout, TP will become more precious than gold. But you know what's even better? A portable bidet. Yep, you heard me right. A small, squeezable bottle like the Tushy Travel Bidet. No water pressure? No problem. This bad boy keeps you clean without relying on a dwindling TP supply. Plus, it's way more eco-friendly, and your sewer system, or septic tank, won't be overwhelmed when things finally return to normal. And if your water's out and your toilet won't flush, don't panic. Get yourself some double-duty trash bags and cat litter. You can use the bags to line your toilet, sprinkle in some litter to keep the smell down, and boom! You've got a makeshift toilet that won't make your whole house reek of disaster. Bonus points if you stock up on disposable gloves and hand sanitizer, because hygiene in a blackout isn't just a convenience, it's a survival necessity. 2. Multi-purpose tools. Become the MacGyver of your own blackout. In a winter blackout, your house isn't just your home, it's your fortress. And like any good fortress, you need the right tools to keep it functioning. You've got to be ready for anything, and I mean anything. Power's out, roads are blocked, supplies are limited, that's when you'll be thanking yourself for having the right tools to keep your family safe, warm, and fed. You need a Leatherman multi-tool or a Gerber gear suspension multiplier. These aren't just fancy knives, folks. These are life-saving tools packed with pliers, screwdrivers, wire cutters, and blades that can handle anything from fixing a busted generator to slicing through that stubborn can of beans. If you don't have one of these in your blackout kit, you're practically inviting chaos into your life. And if you're facing a blackout that could stretch for days or even weeks, you'll need more than just a pocket tool. Get yourself a foldable camp saw or a Fisker's hatchet. I'm talking about gear that's compact but powerful enough to cut firewood, repair broken furniture, or even make emergency repairs on your home. When the temperature drops and your only source of heat is a fire, you'll need to be chopping and sawing like a pro. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you have a good supply of paracord. This stuff is more versatile than duct tape. Use it to tie down tarps, secure broken items, hang emergency blankets, or even rig up a clothesline to dry wet clothes in the middle of a freezing winter. You can never have too much paracord in a crisis. Get yourself a 100-foot roll and stash it where you can find it fast. 3. Food preps that will actually keep you alive and sane. We've all heard the advice about canned food and dry goods, but let's get real. After three days of eating cold beans and stale crackers, you're going to want to throw your entire pantry out the window. What you need is high-quality, easy-to-prepare meals that will not only fuel your body, but also keep your spirits high when the world outside is falling apart. Freeze-dried meals are a game-changer. Brands like Mountain House or Wise Company offer meals that just need a little hot water. And boom! You've got a steaming bowl of beef stew, scrambled eggs, or even lasagna. These aren't just survival rations. These are meals that make you feel like you're sitting in a cozy diner rather than shivering in a powerless home. Stock up and get enough for at least two weeks. And here's a curveball you might not have thought of. 
Nutritional meal replacement shakes, something like Soylent or Huel. No, they're not just for Silicon Valley tech bros. These shakes are packed with all the vitamins, minerals, and calories you need to keep going when the pantry starts looking grim. Just add water, which of course you've stockpiled, shake it up, and you've got a balanced meal that doesn't require cooking or refrigeration. Plus, they last for years. So stockpile a case or two and sleep easy, knowing you won't have to resort to eating cold beans for the tenth day in a row. Don't forget about peanut butter powder. It's lightweight, lasts forever, and packs a protein punch that'll keep you going during the darkest of days. Mix it with water to spread on crackers, or add it to your shakes for a calorie boost. It's a small but mighty addition to your prepper pantry that can make all the difference. 4. Manual Water Pump Don't let your pipes turn to ice. Okay, listen up. When the power goes out, your water supply might be the next thing to fail. If you're on a well, no electricity means no pump, which means no water. And if you're on city water, those pipes can freeze in a winter blackout faster than you can say burst pipe. So, how are you going to get water when the taps stop running? You need a manual water pump, and not just any cheap flimsy thing. You need something robust, like the Bison Stainless Steel Hand Pump. This isn't just a nice-to-have item. It's an absolute necessity if you want to keep water flowing, especially in freezing conditions. A manual water pump lets you access your well water without electricity, ensuring you've got water to drink, cook, and wash with, even if the power's out for weeks. And it works in the dead of winter, when the pipes are frozen solid and the water in your storage jugs has turned to blocks of ice. Now I know what you're thinking. I've got bottled water. I'll be fine. Wrong. What happens when you need water for washing dishes, flushing the toilet, or heaven forbid taking a quick sponge bath? You're going to need more water than you think, and a manual pump will keep it flowing when your neighbors are melting snow in buckets just to fill a toilet. Trust me. This is one prep that will turn you into the hero of your household. 5. Insulated sleeping bags. Your bed won't keep you warm anymore. Now, this one's for those of you who think piling on extra blankets is enough when the heat goes out. Spoiler alert, it's not. When your house starts feeling like a freezer, regular blankets won't cut it, and your bed becomes a block of ice that traps cold air under the covers. What you need is an insulated cold-weather sleeping bag. And I'm talking about one rated for sub-zero temperatures. Something like the Teton Sport Celsius XXL sleeping bag. This isn't your average camping sleeping bag. This thing is designed to keep you warm in freezing conditions, even when the temperature inside your house dips below freezing. Imagine curling up in your bed, surrounded by a mountain of blankets, and still feeling that bone-chilling cold. Now, imagine slipping into one of these sleeping bags, cocooned in warmth, with the icy world outside unable to touch you. Sounds better, right? And don't just get one. Get one for every member of your family. When the power's been out for days and your house feels like a walk-in freezer, these sleeping bags will be the difference between shivering all night and actually getting a good night's sleep. Plus, they pack away easily, so they're not taking up a ton of space in your prep kit. Throw in a couple of thermal sleeping bag liners for an extra layer of warmth, and you'll be set, even if the temperature outside hits arctic levels. 6. Carbon Monoxide Detector Alright, this one is critical, and I can't stress it enough. Carbon monoxide poisoning is a real danger during winter blackouts, especially when you're using alternative heat sources like propane heaters or wood-burning stoves. You're already dealing with no power, freezing temperatures, and limited resources. The last thing you want is to accidentally fill your house with deadly gas. And here's the kicker. Carbon monoxide is completely odorless and invisible. It doesn't give you a warning before it knocks you out. It just silently creeps in and shuts your body down. So what's the solution? A battery-powered carbon monoxide detector. And not just any model. Get something reliable like the First Alert CO710 or Kid Battery Operated Carbon Monoxide Alarm. These detectors are lifesavers, literally. They'll give you that crucial warning if carbon monoxide levels start creeping up giving you enough time to shut down your heat source, ventilate your space, and get to safety. Here's the deal. You might think you're running your heater or stove safely, but even the slightest malfunction, improper ventilation, or using it in too small of a space can lead to a buildup of this toxic gas. And during a blackout, when everything's in chaos, 
you're more likely to cut corners without realizing it. The peace of mind you'll get from having a CO detector in place? Priceless. One more thing. Make sure it's battery operated. If your CO detector relies on house power, it's useless in a blackout. Keep extra batteries on hand and check it regularly. When you're using propane heaters or lighting fires inside, a working CO detector is as essential as having a roof over your head. 7. Emergency backup. Toilet. When nature calls, power or not. Let's be real for a second. Nobody wants to talk about bathroom needs during a blackout, but when the plumbing stops working, it becomes the issue you wish you'd prepared for. If you've never experienced a prolonged outage with no water, let me tell you, it's not pretty. No flushing toilets, no running water, and you're stuck with one major problem. What to do when nature calls. Enter the emergency backup toilet, like the Luggable Lou or Reliance Products Portable Toilet. These aren't just for camping. They're a game changer in any situation where your home's plumbing is out of commission. Pair it with double-layered trash bags and some deodorizing toilet chemicals or cat litter, and you've got a sanitary, odor-controlled setup that can handle your family's bathroom needs for days or even weeks. Trust me, when your house is freezing and the toilet's out of order, you really don't want to be running outside to dig a hole in the snow. Not only is it miserable, but it's also unsafe. These portable toilets are easy to set up indoors, and with the right supplies, you'll barely notice the difference from your regular toilet. Well, except for the fact that you'll still have a working one. Oh, and a pro tip. Stock up on disinfectant wipes, extra trash bags, and hand sanitizer. After a couple of days with no running water, hygiene takes a hit. You'll want all the supplies you can get to stay clean and prevent the spread of germs. 8. Battery-powered heated clothing. All right, you're bundled up in blankets, huddled next to your propane heater, but let's face it, when the temperature drops to bone-chilling levels, even that might not be enough. You don't want to spend days shivering through a blackout, hoping your body heat will do the trick. That's where battery-powered heated clothing comes in. And trust me, this stuff is a game-changer when it comes to staying warm without draining your heat sources. I'm talking about heated jackets, gloves, vests, heck, even socks. Look for brands like Aurora or Volt Heated Clothing, which offer battery-powered, rechargeable options that can keep you toasty for up to 10 hours on a single charge. Imagine slipping into a heated jacket and feeling warmth radiate through your core, even while your house feels like an icebox. Or putting on heated gloves and keeping your hands warm while everyone else is battling frostbite. This isn't just a luxury, it's a smart survival move. These aren't bulky or uncomfortable. They're designed for cold weather survival and can be worn indoors or out. Whether you're trying to conserve fuel for your heater or braving the outdoors to shovel snow, heated clothing keeps you warm without relying on your home's power. And the best part? They run on small, rechargeable batteries that can easily be juiced up with a solar charger or power bank so you're never left in the cold. And don't think it's just for extreme cold climates. Even if you're in an area that doesn't usually freeze, Unexpected temperature drops during a blackout can make you wish you had an extra layer of heat. Heated socks can be a lifesaver when your feet start turning to ice, and heated insoles can make a huge difference if you need to step outside to deal with an emergency. So there you have it, the gear and strategies that can make all the difference when the power goes out in the dead of winter. Be ready, stay warm, and most importantly, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and remember, when it comes to winter blackouts, Failing to prepare is preparing to fail.